Hey YouTube, this is Tushar and in this video we are going to discuss about Bower uh, which is a front-end package manager so basically what it do is if you want to include different dependency into your project you can use Bower you don't have to go to particular website of that dependency and install it from there just use Bower and you can download it or, or download all the dependency uh, using your terminal so that's the power of the Bower, which is a front-end package manager. It is built by Twitter. So it is a basically it is basically a node module, and you have you should have node and npm if you want to install Bower. To install Bower, you have to run this command npm install hyphen g Bower. Hyphen g means it will install um, Bower globally into your computer, so that you can use Bower command from anywhere in your computer. So I already have Bower installed. So I'll do Bower hyphen B, which will tell me the version that I have 1.7.9. And I also have npm and node, so I'm good to go. Similarly, you can check and you can go to the npm website and you can download npm if you don't have. If you want to install any dependency, uh, you can use power install command. So first of all, I have created directory which we will use for this video. So I want to install bootstrap. So what I can do is I can install it. I'll run power install bootstrap hyphen CSS and it will download the bootstrap uh, files into my project because I'm inside my project so it will work in my project only but you can use it anywhere and you can create project anywhere in your system so now if you look into it we got a, a folder named bower underscore component which have that bootstrap CSS that we installed so now I want to use this bootstrap into my project so I just want the path first of all bower list will show me the dependency that I have installed Till now I have just one so let's look into it yeah I have bootstrap only I want to know the part that I can use in my project okay it gave me the path I'll use this path okay. that's fine now if you want to keep the track of your dependency that you are ins installing create a bower json file you can create a bower json file by running this command bower in it it will ask for several questions if you don't want to answer just press enter every time so it created that bower json file let's go to our project directory and now you will see that power json file get created so this is the file and since we have installed bootstrap css before it has included this in the dependency section now if i want to install another dependency like less let's see what it do so it will not include that dependency over here because we are not uh, we are not using a specific a specific command with the bower install which is hyphen hyphen save so if you want to keep track of your uh, dependency you have to use that hyphen hyphen save whenever you are installing any dependency or whenever whenever you are uninstalling any dependency so it installed the less but i don't get the less over here okay so let's see the list i should have two dependency bootstrap and less So it is showing me that I have two uh, dependencies installed. So let's uninstall. Un uninstalling is also like installing. Just run the uninstall command and the dependency name with power. It will uninstall the list. Now if I'll check the list. 
so I have only bootstrap so now I want that list to come over here inside the dependencies section so that I can have a I can keep a track of it so power install less so you have to use hyphen hyphen save whenever you are installing any dependency and install it. so now I have less over here so if you want, if you are stuck somewhere you can use bower hyphen h to know the command that you can run so we have already seen install command init command uninstall command so there is one more command which I like which is home so what it do is it will take you to the home page of particular dependency that you type so I'll now re will be redirected to bootstrap home page I like it very much this uh, this command because I don't have to go to browser and type that URL to get that page so that's awesome so I have a post written on it how to use power I will uh, paste this link in the description you can have a look into it so we have already covered you can how to install power how to install any package so if you want to install a particular version you have to use this pound sign and the version number so you can do that in order to create a bower json file you have to run bower in it you have to always use this hyphen hyphen save if you want to keep the track of dependency in the bower json file and this if you want to update the packages you can run bower update with the dependencies you can uninstall any dependencies you want if you want to check the list of the dependency that you have installed you can use power list if you want to know the path so that you can that you can use it into your project just run bower hyphen hyphen uh, bower list hyphen hyphen path so that's what we did and we got this for bootstrap css and if you look into your project this bower component has lot of file that even you are not using so it will be a lot of code so the best thing is you should include this bower component into the git ignore if you will look into bower json it is already included in the ignore file so if you push to github it will not get pushed because it has already been included into get ignore because you don't need this much of files you just need the bootstrap css to into your project right you don't need this much of file in every dependency what you need to do is suppose if you are working on a team you need to give this bower json file to your colleagues so it has dependency right that you have you are currently you are using bootstrap css and less into your project what they have to do is if suppose you post it to github they will have like the project will have index file css file and bower.json file so when they will uh, in clone your project what they have to do is they have to run bower install uh, bower install command and the dependency will, will get installed so i'll show you how i will delete this bower component So now I don't have that bower component, but I have index.html which have linked to the bower component and the bower.json file. What I have to do right now is I have to run this command and it will install all the dependency listed in bower.json file for me. If you see now again we have bower component. So this is the best thing that you can uh, move bower component into get ignore and you just need to push a uh, bower json file which have a track of your dependencies into github along with your project and other people can just run bower install after, uh, bower install after downloading and they will get all the dependency so that's it for this video i hope you like this video just uh, click on like if you liked it and give your views
into the comments about this video and if you like all the videos of my channels or some videos just subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching